back here at the Galt Museum. We are standing here with Robert Budd and Jonathan Dean, and they are with the Lethbridge Philatelic Society. And if you're like me, you probably don't know much about what philatelic means, but apparently it's all about stamp collecting, isn't yes, it, Robert? You bet. Yeah, the original word means lover, lover of taxes or a lover of exemption from taxes, but it just simply means a, a lover of stamps. Okay, well, it's a good time of year to be in that loving spirit right now <laughs> with bet. Valentine's Day just around the corner. We are actually still talking about Voices of the Engravers uh, exhibit, and a huge part of that exhibit is not just the money, but also the stamps and engraving the stamps. And now, how did you two gentlemen come to be such lovers of stamps and be a part of the uh, stamp collecting? Well, I was introduced to stamps <clears throat> when I was very young, and I think I was about seven when I started first collecting, and uh, um, nearly 70 years later, I'm still working at my collection. <laughs> and uh, it's just that uh, they're so full of history, and the designs are wonderful, and uh, that's you know, one of the things that I really like about the stamps is such a diversity of uh, uh, stamps uh, in the, you know, out there and you can, which you can collect and, well. How many stamps would you say you've collected in your lifetime since you were seven years old? Oh, <laughs> hundreds of thousands. And Robert, how about yourself? Well, what I, brought you to stamp collecting? I've been, I, I was collecting since I was five. You know, okay. and I've and I've kept every pretty much other than trading them away. I've kept every stamp I ever had. Yeah, now, <laughs> so I have hundreds of thousands. Yes, that's amazing. Yes. We were talking a little bit off camera about um, how historical stamps are, and they all kind of tell a little bit of a story. Oh, wonderful! You you get a, a postcard or or an envelope. And you think, who who handled that? And look at that stamp, and it's from this country that doesn't exist anymore. And and are they German or are they Polish or are they Danish? Or and it's just, and and was he in the war? And and, and what did they go through? And, and so the, everything tells a story, and I just yeah. love that. I it's just, just a that. little piece of tangible oh, history you that you, you have. Yeah, love it. Yeah. That is so neat. Now, um, tell me about what we have here. This collection of stamps here is what you can buy still at the Canada Post. Um, they are the high denomination stamps and they are the only ones at the moment that uh, Canada Post has that are actually engraved. These are very, I've never seen a $10 stamp before, for example, and we got $8. And very different. <laughs> they are. Uh, this $10 stamp is probably one of the biggest stamps in the world. Why do you think people should come down to this exhibit here at the Galt Museum? I know that it's a great way for them to learn about sort of the, the intricate artwork that goes into stamp. In, in, in engraving, uh, if you can look at a, a banknote and just see what artwork went into that to, to uh, stop counterfeiting, of course, but mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're beautiful. Someone took weeks and weeks and weeks to engrave that on a piece of steel with a, with a murin, and, uh, and um, the larger value stamps are, are created the same way. And when we were children, all of our stamps were created that way, even the, the, the small ones. And uh, they because people felt a need for uh, the uh, stopping of counterfeiting, but also a need for producing something that had that stamp of government. To, that, to that, yeah. that is quite something. Thank you so much for joining us here at the Galt Museum. I think everybody needs to come down, check out Voices from the Engraver, and see this intricate part of history, of Canadian history, that goes into our stamp making. We will have more coming up on Go Southern Alberta.